don't appreciate. Just kidding. All right. Aloha. Aloha. Welcome to most asked questions on Google about missionaries. I'm Elder Hamilton. I'm Elder Tapusoa. And we're going to be answering these questions to the best of our ability. So hope we can do our best and hope you enjoy. Big shaka to you guys. All right. All right. We'll start with the first one. Set us off, Elder. Why do missionaries wear white shirts? Why do missionaries wear white shirts? Why do missionaries wear white shirts? That's a great question. Elder Hansen. Um, pretty much just to help us stand out. It's because we want to look professional. On our name tags it says Jesus Christ on it and we represent Jesus Christ in everything that we do. Next question. Why are missionaries called elders? Dang, this one's just calling us out. We actually are sister missionaries. Elder and sister are just like titles. Just uh, a title. Simply put, you know, it's it's not our first names. We are teachers of Jesus Christ. It helps explain who we are. Uh, elder is also another form of teacher, just another title for that. Elder Gozar, let's see what you're questioning. Are there female missionaries? Yes or no? Yes. Where are they? Everywhere. And in this video, cut scene. Yes, there are female missionaries. You're looking at them right now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, of course. They're called sisters, not lady elders. Why can't missionaries swim? I ask myself that all the time. In any big organization, you got some sort of rules and guidelines for us to stay safe. Well, I was never taught how to swim. That's good reason. The ocean's pretty big, and young adult brains are pretty small. Obviously, we can't swim because it takes us away from what we're here and what we're called to do. Um, as missionaries, our purpose is to invite others to come into Christ. And if we swim, that kind of takes us away from our purpose. That's just my thoughts. Question, do missionaries get paid? Yeah. Oh wait, sorry. Sorry, I was thinking about today. No, we should come out here uh, basically as volunteers, I guess, for our church to help spread uh, Christ's love and to help others come on to Him. Um, actually, we, we give money to come out here to serve. Let's see, question number six. Why do missionaries keep coming to my door? This is a phenomenal question. Elder Grosser, why do you keep coming to people's door? I come to your door because you don't answer. And when you do answer, then we get to have an awesome conversation about the man upstairs and our brother Jesus and it's just the best so you should open the door and you might think it's a little annoying you might think we're trying to sell something but no we're just here to spread love and to spread the word of Jesus Christ what do missionaries say ready one two three aloha, aloha. Malolele, kohoku hino, go sister kaufusi, be kohoku hoa eni, go sister magobi hi I'm sister Alexander we say pretty much anything that comes from our mind and heart. We don't have like a specific script or anything. Much of what we say is about Jesus Christ, how we can strengthen our relationship with Him and follow Him more fully in our lives. Because I know that it will bring us uh, happiness and joy in this life and in the life to come. We're also really good at not saying anything. You give me a shovel and a pair of gloves, and I cannot say anything for about three hours and dig an entire irrig irrigation system. So. Again, whatever way you need us, you need some free service, you need some, some gospel, whatever. Okay, next question. Why are missionaries so young? It's so that when I come and dig your irrigation system, my back doesn't fall apart. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not that I young. The Just kidding, no. Um, missionaries are so young, you know, because I feel like, you know, obviously elders come out at 18, sisters come out at 19. And it's just a perfect age where we're kind of at that peak where we're becoming adults. We, we haven't had uh, too many commitments in life like families and jobs yet. Um, so we're definitely in a place where we can, we can do missionary work. I don't know, what was the question again? Oh, just doing it at a young age, it, it helps us, you know, remember that before we kind of get thrown into the world as much. How do missionaries get assigned? 
our prophet receives revelation on where to send us and where the Lord needs us to help the work grow in that area. So we've been called to the Hawaiian Islands and it's such a blessing and opportunity to be able to be here. But, but it's not fun when we can't swim. Next question. Why do missionaries travel in pairs? You know, it helps us keep ourselves safe. Uh, just be able to think with two heads. Two, two heads are better than one. Because we're young, we have young, small, young adult brains. We don't know how to make smart decisions without the help of another brain. The testimonies of two people can be a lot stronger than one. Jesus Christ, he said to go and travel in pairs and to preach the word. Two by two. Two by two. One, two. Do missionaries ever convert anyone? No. The short answer is no. Uh, no. The answer you probably want to hear is yes. The answer I'm going to say is no. We don't ever convert anybody. The Holy Ghost does. It's amazing to be a missionary to see the change in people. And even if we don't like physically convert them through baptism, we know that we do convert them to their Savior, Jesus Christ. So, have I ever converted anybody? No. Have I helped convert somebody? Yes. 11 questions. Hopefully we answered them pretty well. Um, Shout out to Google for having these questions for us. We hope we answered them to the best, but if we didn't, put your contact information down. We'll hit you up. No, yes, sir. Oh, that was a fail. It didn't hit the camera. Hold on. Hold that.